Hello YouTube, um, we're going to look at this URL tracking stripper today. So we know what URLs are, they're links to web pages and resources and various other things on the internet. Now I've copied a link uh, just as an example because I'm going to show how this all works and, and why it's important. So why is it important? Well, links can get very long and they don't have to get very long but usually they do and it's usually tracking um, so when you've got a long when you've got a chat and there's a long link and you've got to scroll past it and it's frustrating and also means that the companies can track where you've been clicking and then you're sharing it amongst other users and they're getting tracked and it's all gets very confusing so the idea behind this is that it tidies up chats. Um, you can save data, mobile data, by sending a smaller packet when you're sending a shorter link. Um, it prevents most tracking. Things change, so I'll have to keep updating this macro, but I'm happy to do that. Um, so let's get cracking. Let's have a look. So I've copied a link. I'm going to put it in this variable here. I'm just going to wipe this link here and put it in, the, in here. Right, so we've got a Twitter link. And in this example, everything after the T, everything after the question mark here is tracking. Um, and we really don't need it. It can just be got rid of completely including everything after this and s value here so we'll cancel to that a minute i've got a, a button bar set up where when i press a certain button it's going to get rid of the tracking now whilst it was difficult for it to display what it was doing this is the link that it's produced it's taken everything off the tracking so if i Oh, yeah, it hasn't. <laughs> Look what it's done. It's, it's because it's a previously copied link. I've made a mistake somehow. Um, right. What we're going to do, we get rid of that. Let's have a look at what happened. What was it that happened? Uh, right, we've got, yeah, that's our tracking link. Let's just copy it again. It did work and then displayed the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm not sure why it's doing that. Oh, I do. Yeah, I've spotted why. I cancelled it instead of pressing OK. Right, so let's try that again. So we've got all our um, Twitter stuff. We've got our tracking at the end of T equals. Um, let's get rid of it. So watch this variable at the bottom. Give it a second and it has removed the tracking and then saved the new result to the clipboard but for some strange reason um oh i see i see what it is i'm using the store version so they are exactly the same version the my local copy and the store version but it's returning unusual results so it's working so what's happening I'll click it here this is our variable with all the tracking and everything what we've got at the bottom here this floating text is the tracking is removed so if you see if I just line it up just and so everything after this after this seven here is gone so it's miles shorter now that variable there didn't update at the bottom because it's the store version that's the only reason so it will it's updated in my local copy that doesn't matter uh, because everything will be fixed before the video goes and i'll add some extra tracking that i discovered just before recording this video anyway um like I say things change so you know they can change day to day but this most of this won't change so it's fine there's loads of different bits 
of tracking that comes off so it converts um, sometimes when you copy a Google search it copies ev it copies the link twice almost which is what these bits at the top are doing are catching that so it just shortens all sorts of different links there's all sorts that comes off here you can even get rid of the trailing slashes so that's the slash at the end so uh, if we go back to my local version so to get to that we in the, in the store to get this macro for yourselves we type URL tracking stripper and it'll pop up I'll get you the number just get give us a second so these days we can actually just search the number you don't have to type ID equals into the store so in this case we can just type 8024 instead of URL tracking stripper so if I do this search done right so that's this macro if I go back to my local copy and I'll just type something in and make it up and then set so URL tracking stripper and then open let's get rid of this thing if I just twitter.com slash let's just oops let's just do that and taking the slashes off silly me right now watch this so we've saved that so it's got let's just do this let's take the confusingness off so twitter.com slash and save that that's there so imagine we've copied that into the clipboard and we do need to copy that into the clipboard otherwise what I'm going to show you is not going to work <laughs> right and then I'm going to pull this down for the button and then it's just preparing now which is why it's gone and then the slash has gone from the end so even that we've saved a little bit of space in the chat if that's what we're doing with the link just makes it a little bit easier to read there's less and less question marks and slashes and stuff <laughs> Um, we can actually do that as well. We can do it the slash. makes it easier to read in some cases although I haven't done it just yet because it's not reliable you might be able to take off this HTTP bit here so Twitter you can set that off I just twitter.com but I haven't added that to this ma macro just yet because I don't it's not reliable for most websites so anyway there you go um hopefully that's useful for you and uh thanks for watching <laughs> all right bye bye